Hey guys, it's Lance at Max Sound Solutions, and I just wanted to make a quick follow-up video on how to install the drivers. Once you got Windows installed, you're going to have to do some driver installations for things like your upgraded Wi-Fi Bluetooth card if you have one, or if you have something like an RX 580, you got to get the right GPU driver for that. And also, your audio is not going to work. You have to install a driver to get the audio outputs on your Mac Pro 5.1 working. So let's get to it. So as you can see, I went into the Applications folder, into Utilities, and I dragged the Boot Camp Assistant into the dock, and then I launched it. And now we're going to go up to Action. We're not going to use the Boot Camp Assistant other than downloading the Windows Support software, which is basically the drivers. So first up, we're going to go to Action and download Windows Support software. But basically, you want to save these onto your desktop, or better yet, save it onto an XFAT formatted thumb drive. Because once we collect all the drivers that we need, we're going to boot into Windows, we're going to put in our thumb drive, and we're going to install the drivers. And I'm just going to speed this up because it takes a little while to download the drivers. And the reality is, is I'm only going to be using one driver for my computer out of the package, which is the audio driver. Everything else I'm not going to touch. But if you have the original Wi-Fi Bluetooth card, you're going to need to use the drivers for that as well. Or maybe not. Windows might just install the drivers for you when it does its first update. But the audio driver you're definitely going to need. So there's our Windows support folder and we're going to go look in there under boot camp and drivers. And at the bottom is the Realtek audio driver. That's the one we want to grab. So we'll grab the Realtek setup.exe file and put that on our thumb drive, which has to be formatted in XFAT. Next up, Bluetooth drivers. As most of you know, I have an upgraded Bluetooth card, Wi-Fi slash Bluetooth, in my Mac Pro 5.1. And the Wi-Fi just worked. I didn't have to install a driver for the Wi-Fi, but Bluetooth did not. So the bootcamp package that you download with the 5.1 does not have modern Bluetooth drivers. So I decided to give it a shot with my Mac Pro 7.1, and lo and behold, there was a huge list of more modern Bluetooth drivers in that package. So I copied this folder of all the Bluetooth drivers onto my USB thumbstick, and we're going to install the Bluetooth driver in Windows. There's no exec file here to install it, but we're going to grab that and put it on our thumb drive. And I'm going to create a package for you guys so you can just download the drivers from my Dropbox link in the description. Okay, so now that we have our audio driver and our Bluetooth drivers, we're going to get out of Mac OS and boot into our Windows 11 install. Okay, so here I am in Windows, and this is going to be a little tricky because I already have all my drivers installed, but I'm basically going to show you how to do this. First off, we want to install the audio driver. So you're just going to go to the thumb drive, and remember this needs to be formatted in XFAT. So you can see it in Windows, can't be APFS, that's Apple's formatting. And we're going to go to our utility thumb drive, and we're going to go to my folder, Mac Pro 5.1 Windows Drivers. Okay, and there it is. All you got to do is double click on the setup file and install it, and then you're done. And then after that, you may have to reboot for it to work. Uh, you'll go to the device manager. To get to the device manager, you alt click on the Windows icon down here. And you go to device manager, and then you go to your sound video and game controllers. And in here, there it is Realtek High Definition Audio. That is what gets all your audio ports working on your Mac Pro 5.1. That is the audio driver that comes with the boot camp package downloaded when you do it from the Mac Pro 5.1. If you download the boot camp drivers with another Mac, it's going to give you different drivers. It has to be the computer you're going to be using with Windows. Now let's talk Bluetooth. Bluetooth is a little different. You have to come in here and 
find the little icon that has an exclamation point on it showing you that Bluetooth is not working. And then what you want to do is you want to alt click on that. I'm just going to pick this one as a for instance, and you're going to update driver. Then you're going to come in here, browse my computer for drivers. And then we're going to go look for our driver in our utilities folder. Let me close this stuff. Okay, we're going to go in there. That's where I put the Broadcom folder that I downloaded from my Mac Pro 7 one. Again, I'm going to put the audio driver and the Bluetooth drivers in a package for you guys to download from my Dropbox. So we're going to click on that and we're going to hit OK. And then we're going to go through the prompts of installing it. Next. See, it says I've already got it installed and they just call it Apple Broadcom built-in Bluetooth. But that's where you're gonna get the correct one. I think the card that I have in my Mac Pro 5 comma one came from an iMac, like a 2015 or later iMac is the card that I actually have in my Mac Pro 5 comma one now. So, you know, your mileage may vary. It depends on what card you have in there, but seeing the Mac Pro 7 comma one gave us this huge list of Broadcom drivers. Hopefully the one you need is in that list and you just select the folder and hit install and Windows goes and finds the right one for your card. So as you can see in here, I don't have any exclamation points. All my drivers are good. But when I first installed, Bluetooth wasn't working. I didn't have any audio. Now the last thing is if you have an RX 580 or an AMD modern graphics card, you need to go get AMD Adrenaline. You do not want to install Apple's AMD or ATI graphics. That's why you don't install all the boot camp stuff because it's going to put things in there that's too old that you don't need. So all you got to do is get a web browser. I'm using Firefox, which you can download from the Microsoft store. So anyway, we're just going to go in here and hit AMD. Uh, we're going to go with AMD Adrenaline software that will find your graphics card and install the driver that you need. So you just download it from their site and you follow the install and that's it then your graphics will be running as it should be. Um, and this is strictly for the five comma one. Every Mac is slightly different when it comes to installing Windows. But as you can see, I'm good here. I've got all my drivers operational. Everything's working. Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, Ethernet. Windows goes in there and finds a bunch of the stuff you need anyway. Like my Ethernet was already working. My Wi-Fi was already working, even though I had an upgraded card. But Bluetooth was not. I had to find the driver for my Bluetooth to get it working. I have a link in the description for you to download the Bluetooth drivers and the audio driver. And AMD, you can go get on your own, or if you're using an NVIDIA card, you can go get that driver on your own. But now you got the idea on how to do it. Okay, thanks for watching. Please give me that thumbs up, and I'll see you on the next Max Sound Solutions video.